commentary, Com comment blue, commentary, comment burgundy blue, commentary blue, commentary blue, burgundy, commentary, commentary. Rapper Jay Holiday made twenty thousand for a half hour set. A talent booking agency billed the township another fifty thousand dollars for other performers that day. Records show the entire single day event cost South Suburban taxpayers more than one hundred thirty-five thousand. The next day, twenty thousand for a half hour set. When you factor in staff, equipment, and other expenses, the total cost is at least eighty five thousand dollars, which is lower than WGN investigates initially reported, but still raising questions. Oh, I'm with this commenter here. It says, "Now I saw the new." It's the, it cracks me up because she sounds like me. Now I saw <laughs> a, a news article. Earlier today, from the same station that said the amount was over one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So which is it? She supposedly paid Kiki Wyatt thirty thousand dollars for thirty minutes and Jay Holiday twenty thousand dollars for thirty minutes, and the same promoter fifty thousand dollars for other entertainment. And that was around noon. And so, you guys, I just want to say this is the time where I think that um, I'm grateful that the super mayor speaks up because it's so much confusion on everything that goes on. Like, I don't understand why WGN would even report this and not say, Hey, even though this was a situation, this was approved by the board. Okay. So this was approved before she was able to spend this type of money and then do your due diligence, if you will, uh, what did Frank Zuccarelli spend at the Taste of Thornton Township? And you guys, as a public, as a public, I'm not saying that Tiffany Henyard is spending everything correctly and that her finances for the township is correct. I'm not saying that. But you guys put 20 on 10. You put 20 on 10. Um, you sat up there and told us you got a FOIA and you're reporting what the FOIA said. Well, Tiffany, thanks to Critical Smoker, uh, we appreciate you so much for going out there and getting this live footage. Uh, make sure you follow the Critical Smoker. Tiffany had her own uh, board. Next slide, right? And this is the thing about media. Um, I'm learning along the way as a YouTuber. I only used to report on reality tv but since i'm adult night i started reporting on what was going on in my community which has turned into a full-fledged reality show when you see the local media report something that automatically gets all the youtubers and i'm not shading the youtubers because hey get your coin and you're not here so you're only reporting the news right um that get them to go ahead and put out the same false information I don't think this election season is going to be what we think it's going to be. I really think it's going to end up different. You know what I mean? Um, this is the thing about Tiffany Henyard. You might have your thoughts on her, but she's strategic. She's not emotional. She's strategic. I repeat, she's not emotional. She has two gangs, for lack of a better word, coming at her right? Uh, along with the outside wor world hating her. Hear me out. Just hear me out. Like, forget this is Burgundy talking and just listen to what I'm saying. Forget it's Tiffany I'm talking about for a second. She has the outside world outside of this village. At one time, this woman only had to worry about the village to get votes. And she still does, right? But she has the outside world trying to disturb her peace. The thing about Tiffany, she's not emotional. She got a slick mouth, but we're starting to watch her and she's not emotional. She doesn't slander or uh, she doesn't run those smear campaigns on other people. She just keeps on going and sometimes she doesn't even give a response. Every day is a smear campaign on her. And this just tripped me up to see WGN do this, and you know, notably Ben Bradley. And it's just a small thing, but it just makes me think of how many things she probably did not speak up on. And what makes it crazy to me 
is Tiffany Henyard did not create the taste of Thornton Township. What is this, the 22nd or 23rd annual? This has been something that's been going on for over 20 years. And it's now a whole article or news, news spot about this taste of Thornton Township. This is something that's been going on way before she even became. People that's not here, local media knows this as well. That's why they title this Tiffany Hingard's 85K Party. They would never let you know it was a taste of Thornton Township because you would do your own research and find out, hey, that's been there a million years. I'm supervisor. This is something that GA Fund has paid for way before she became supervisor. So why are we not talking about that? And when it comes to our people, um, the way they said, now we know Jay Holiday is like a 90s R&B slash, he's an R&B singer slash rapper. The way they wanted to put it down like, yeah, she paid this rapper 20K, it just cracks me up. It just cracks me up. Like Jay Holiday, no shade to Jay Holiday, but he's our 90s R&B put you to bed like he didn't even it wasn't even no rapping going on like it was just like the way they wanted to say it so that the elders would be like oh no <laughs> what happened <laughs> so they want the elders to be like also apparently a super you fan. guys she flew we in nationally known r&b singer better Kiki better in Wyatt. research for the ourselves the taste of Thornton i just want to bring this month. as one example it doesn't mean everything's perfect I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Let's there do a lot about this later. There were plus daytime events for kids. But Bye. given the fury over Tiffany Henyard's spending, we were curious what the event cost. WGN Investigates obtained the bills through open records laws. They show Kiki Wyatt was paid $30,000 for a 30-minute performance. Rapper Jay Holiday made $20,000 for a half-hour set. A talent booking agency billed the township another $50,000 for other performers that day. Records show the entire entire single day event cost South Suburban taxpayers more than $135,000. When we get to this next video, I just want to bring it to your attention. Y'all notice how the trustees are voting not to pay anybody. We shouldn't get paid. We shouldn't get paid. But they never say, you know what, because of what's going on Thornton Township, I'm going to give up my salary as well. And you know where I got that idea from? It was Kiana Belcher. And before she was a trustee, she was standing at that podium and asked them to give up their salaries to put it back in the budget or give up a percentage of their salaries. We'll go over that in the next slide. You guys, let's continue. As Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard tried to conduct business as usual. WGN's Jenna Barnes has details. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard is finding a way to spend money that trustees say they intentionally did not approve. One describing it to me tonight as a shell game. Is there a motion to approve the gospel fest? Motion to fail. All right. Is there a motion to approve the house fest? Event after event denied for Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard under an ordinance designed to rein in spending. I don't residents love the events that we do here at Thornton Township. And prior to me, y'all have always had events. So I don't understand why it's a problem now that Tiffany Henry is the supervisor. The trustees say they won't green light the events because there's no approved budget yet. Can't continue to spend money without that in place. The most recent cost causing concern, Henyard's Taste of Thornton Township last month. WGN Investigates obtained records that show singer Kiki Wyatt was paid $30,000 to sing for 30 minutes. Rapper Jay Holiday made $20,000 for a half hour set. When you factor in staff, equipment and other expenses, the total cost is at least $85,000, which is lower than WGN Investigates initially reported, but still raising questions. Unnecessary. Trustees voting not to approve thousands of dollars in expenditures for Taste of Thornton and other Henyard events, money that's already been spent. A lot of that spending was done on credit cards. We just don't agree with so much being put on credit cards. And then also we recently it looks like even stuff that we voted not to pay then was put onto credit cards. So it's just kind of almost like a shell game, unfortunately. But they don't have unanimous support from residents. Because there isn't a budget passed that maybe they should do the same for their salary. Suspend the salary until they pass a budget. 
That budget could be coming soon. Trustees say it's under review by an accountant now. They also voted once again to put Henyard's name on a credit card despite her protest, they say, for accountability. In South Holland, Jenna Barnes, WGN News. We have no time to complete the video, but when fake news report videos, and yeah, it was a live being, with red being, I don't know if you behind the camera, live being, uh, made a report uh, yesterday about Thor Township, and this is how obsessed they are with your supervisor slash super mayor, right? They made a report about Thor Township, about the taste of Thor. As I stated to y'all before, the taste of Thor was voted on by the Board of Trustees, was approved. Uh, expenditures, but they didn't report any of that, right? So in doing so, he inflated numbers to say one thing, and the truth is the truth, right? He did a FOIA, I have a FOIA right here, this is the FOIA that being did, and he reported that we spent this type of money right here, 30000 for Key Key, uh, Jay Holiday 20, and then some other performance which we did not have, but people like to make stuff up on us all the time. And he said it cost in Thorne Township $135,000. All false, fake news, false. So move on to the next clip. So this is a breakdown of the cost for Thorne Township. This is everything that he forwarded that we gave to Pink. Being the light that is. 32,000 right here was the breakdown right here for what it was that we were supposed to do for Taste of Thorne. Next slide. $50,000 was for the agency, as you can see, for the performance. But he said that we spent all this money, and that's not the truth, right? Because the truth was set you free. So here we go. Next slide. We spent the grand total $83,000. $83,000 is what Thor Township spent. Little do y'all know, it's less than what Frank Zuccarelli spent for all the time that they ever did. But did y'all for you that? Did anybody ask any questions? His last taste was 160, uh, I'm finding the exact number. He spent 2024, as you can see. But again, people run stories because they got national platforms, and y'all run fake stories. I call them fake news all the time. They never give y'all the truth.